and oh, you're gonna be thinking that you eat and you not. Hey boo, what is up? So in today's video, we are getting ready. I want you to get ready with me because this is what I do when I just need to get cute, okay? So we're gonna start with skincare per usual. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of my Avo Cosmetics Botanical Toner on my face just to give it a little bit of moisture really quick. You tone that step is to prep the skin, restore the PA, and all of those things help product perform better and trade deeper and then i'm gonna go in with brows of course my anastasia beverly hills i was counsel and we just lightly fill in the brows really lightly just the regular shape that they are we're not exaggerating now these brows have a mean arch and when you do that you gotta be careful because you don't want to look surprised okay brows give facial expression meaning so if you don't want to look sad or confused or bewildered or shocked or all of the other things try to follow the natural shape okay of the brow bone which you feel when you press your pencil okay because if you exaggerate too high you're gonna look like an evil villainous character from a movie girl and oh you're gonna be thinking that you eat and not then when you're doing the brows go ahead and just take that extra time to use your um, exact shade of concealer on the top and save the light one for the bottom for the highlight it's just these extra little steps the extra little details that really make a big difference in regards to the end result on your makeup like it gives that wow factor it gives that perfect factor because people always tell me like your makeup is absolutely flawless it's perfect like it's nothing wrong with it and it's just the small details like this i'm gonna go in with my bobby brown eye base and face base if you know you know okay these are skincare makeup hybrids i do not prep my skin without these products okay so now i'm gonna go in with my first foundation and that's the mac studio radiance finish this is a serum power foundation and it's a little red so i like to cool it down with a little bit of the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter listen this is so pretty like if you are just trying to put your moisturizer on and kind of like just dot some complexion product um you know on your trouble zones and kind of just like pat it in and camouflage just like a little darkness or something or you want to just give your skin a little something something not trying to do like a full beat or anything like that but you may be you know your skin may look a little dull or you just may feel like it lacks a luster this makes your skin look so pretty it's not like oh my god how strange this be and you can tell that you were wearing all this makeup it really does make the skin look just very beautiful and hydrated and healthy looking and that's what i love about this so i'm just going to snap this in all over Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass Concealer. Now this here, babe, it's all the rave on TikTok right now. But what the TikTok girlies don't know is that the YouTube girlies been up on Hourglass, okay? People have tried to tell them, okay? Like all of these hacks and stuff that y'all be doing, babe, that stuff is just, we was, we've been doing it on YouTube. You know what I mean? No shade. But the facts are the facts. This has been that girl. It's always been that girl. I have several, 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 several hourglass products. So we're going to put a little of this underneath the eye and we're going to be letting it sit while we put our other um, foundation on. Like the applicator on this and everything is like velvet. And then the coverage, oh my god, immaculate without being heavy, without looking cakey. So we're going to leave that on there for just a sec and then we're going to cool this down with the Hollywood Flawless filter. Oh, this is so pretty. And then we're going to add the rest of the highlight and stuff under the face. I want under the eyes to just be sitting for a sec. 
see how that cooled that down see how it's not so red anymore beautiful combo and this is in nc50 and this is in 6.5 for the rest of the face i'm gonna go in with my bobby brown skin loving concealer we're gonna just blend this out right away really really natural looking I'm gonna dot a little bit of the Dior. This is the Dior Backstage. And I'm just gonna dot a little tiny bit right there on the tip of the nose. And then blend out underneath the eye. And we just patting it in. And then we're gonna brighten up the inner corner just a little bit. And this is going to also take away from the bag. Snatch the nose a little further. Now I'm gonna take my depth sponge and just kind of let me set real quick let me use the setting spray so now i'm going to take my mac fix plus and we're going to spray the whole face and kind of press everything together and press everything in and blend it in with this damp beauty sponge And I don't want a lot of product picked up from right here, so I'm just gonna use my brush for this part. For the eye area. The rest of the face, we use the sponge. I don't mind, you know, it shearing out a little bit. But right here, I want the layers. Make sure that there's no creases right before we set we're gonna use the chanel libre in number 30 and just stretch the skin and press this in like there's literally no tomorrow now i guess i'm just going to bake with a little of this laura mercier The trick to looking really, really, really good on when you are pressed for time is just to focus on the skin. So I'm gonna take a really light layer of this MAC Paint Truly Paint Pot, and this is in the shade Laying Low. And I'm just gonna put just a little bit on my eyelids because we're doing like one wash of color and that's it. So now that the bake is baking, I'm gonna take my NARS bronzer and just start bronzing up the face just a little bit, warming it up. And I'm going backward and forward, just buffing it in. Put it on the temples. And then I'm gonna take my Mirrored Makeup Blush Quad. I'm gonna do a little bit of the high blood. I'm gonna go into this beautiful red. 
and then we're gonna just start patting like around the eye area with the blush I'm going to take a little bit of brow bone highlight from my Julius Place Coffee Shop palette. We're going to use this cream and just put a little bit um, shadow on the brow bone for a highlight. I'm going to take a little bit of this champagne color here and concentrate it on the inner corner of my eye just to brighten it up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little contour shade just with this deep plum right here. And we're gonna keep this like toward the back and the hairline. And with this being like purple, it's gonna complement the red beautifully. And lastly, take a little bit of the orange blush and do the apple. Okay, so let me put a little bit of eyeshadow down, just like a flesh tone one. Then we're going to quickly, quickly, quickly line the eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I've been using this for years because it works. Okay, now I'm going to take that same Julius Place palette and we're going to go into this deep, deep color right here. And we're just going to put a little bit of that in the crease right where the liner and the crease meets. Like that. Just a little hint, a little whisper in color. It's going to help with that lift. That's going to help with that sagging skin. Not appear so like folded down over your liner because I just, I can't stand it. I can't stand when I see the wing go up underneath the fat like that. Can we not? Can we not exaggerate the fold of the eye by just drawing a line underneath where it's sagging? There's a better way. There's a better way. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Pot. Girl, listen. I have been hanging on to my Bobbi Brown gel liner forever. After forever, it's finally done. So, we're going to try this one on today. Let's just re-deepen the um, wing because it does have a little bit of shadow on it which dulls it so we just re-deepen it a little bit maybe go in with that flesh tone or this one or make sure both and just sweep just a little open up the eye a little bit the peach liner Let's go in with some of our NARS Shimmer Blush. Oh man, I just tore it up, girl. This is a blush, but you see how shimmery it is? So I use it kind of like a highlight. Then let's go in with a little bit of highlight. So now for my lip combo, I'm gonna use my mirrored makeup. Girl, this is finally available for pre-order, so head over to my site right now. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to check out my free VIP beauty community, all about beauty, makeup, skincare, and fashion, and it's free it comes directly to you it's your personal guide to looking fabulous and feeling amazing thank you so much for choosing me as your number one beauty consultant and advisor like share and subscribe and i'll be sure to see you on the next one i've been losing friends and finding peace honestly that sound like a